Give me a second, I'm trying to select the appropriate weapon. Uh, watch where you stepping, them snakes all around, you know they connected. Uh, when I was a kid, my grandmama told me I can't go to heaven. So I stopped praying and asking for blessings and started preparing for my Armageddon. Got nothing. I'm all in, walking the ends, don't fall in Enough of the lies, don't apologize, I don't understand, are you foreign? This is the place, this is the site, grab all your people and log in I'm waiting, don't care how long it's gonna take Watching the waiting for that first mistake Don't come up missing, don't get it twisted I'm not Rihanna, but boy, you a gunner, you right on my hit list I'm Keeping my distance, just checking the listings I'm always aware of your current position. I just hold out to the perfect condition. Coming alive. Heat of the night. Now is the time. Don't try to hide. Cause I'm gonna call you like an animal. Yo, what's up guys? Hitting this chest workout with my boy Mark Field right here. He's doing his own vlog, so yeah. But um had to start out with some heavy chest. Heavy flat bench, feeling good, and I was just able to start hitting 315 for one rep max, so definitely had to hit that again, trying to get that up to a point where I can just rep out 315 like a boss. But um, yeah, and then I also just started being able to rep out 225 for my best is 15 reps so far, so trying to get to the NFL combine, you know, rep out that like 40 times, rep that out 40 times, 50 times, can't fucking talk, but uh, yeah. All right, so now we're gonna go into some Incline machine press now for just moving into cell swelling getting a crazy pump so probably gonna do four sets of 8 to 12 reps uh, hitting some partials at the stretch each time just for a massive massive pump one thing you guys are gonna notice is that, is that I almost always start with some heavier weights and then gradually move up just because I'm starting with that mechanical stressor for muscle growth into cell swelling into metabolic stress usually and then I'll have different workouts where I actually focus on a particular one like right now I've been focusing a little bit on adding some strength so I do like to have a good anywhere from six to ten sets of some heavy heavy lifts in the beginning not every single time but that's what I like to do Time for the pump shield to come off. All right, so on these, make sure you're going up weight every single set. Um, it's just gonna maximize the pump, maximize the volume that you're putting out. And yeah, just do it, all right? Also guys, real quick, I just wanna let you know that anytime I'm saying like eight to 12 reps, unless if it's that first strength lift or you're just specifically going for strength, uh, I mean, you wanna start out hitting about 12 reps and then just up the weight each time till you're down at the bottom end of the rep range. Um, I just feel like that always gives the best pump. But if you're going for strength, you definitely want to try to just jump up to that heaviest weight as quick as possible, just so you don't fatigue before you get there. Got something a little bit different for you. For this next exercise, we're starting off at incline uh, dumbbell press. It's going to be high incline first, so number four setting more at about like a 45 degree angle, uh, even slightly higher probably. And then we're gonna do two sets there. Again, eight to 12 reps, drop it down to a three, eight to 12 reps for two sets, and then drop it down to a flat for two sets. And then the on the last set, we're gonna put it back up to four. And instead of dropping weight, we're just gonna hit as many as we can there, drop it down the incline, hit it again there, drop it down the incline, hit it again there. And uh, yeah, we'll probably be dead by then, so. 
That last one was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna drop down from 80s to 65s just so for some really clean reps. Then we're gonna put it back up to the four, four incline, and just drop it down each each time till we are just completely burnt out. I'm not even gonna count reps, not gonna lower weight. Even if I can only hit like three to five reps, I'm keeping it there. And yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. So strong and Gonna finish up chest with some high to low flies on cables. Just focusing on getting a good contraction. I'm thinking I'm gonna go for anywhere between 10 and 20 reps, start high, work up the weight each time. And I'm feeling I think I'm gonna finish up with five second holds. Just on the last set, I'm gonna hold each rep for five seconds, let it come back nice and slow, just crazy squeeze and uh, do a double drop of that. So I'm sure you guys have noticed, I finish with partials a lot. And that's just because if you have more in the tank, use more in the tank, you know? If you have a rep range set for eight to 12 reps, but you can clearly hit more, might as well hit more if it's more of a hypertrophy, pump focused day. I mean, strength days are different, but if I can burn it out, man, burn it out. But this is the last, last exercise here. Then I'm gonna take y'all to a physique update. Um, just kind of let you know, I'm still hovering around 210, 215, really just maintaining right now through the holidays. Just eating when I'm hungry, eating till I'm comfortably full, making sure to get plenty of protein. But yeah, I'm not worrying about it right now, not stressing myself out, just taking it easy. As soon as I get back home, I'm going full on bulk. I don't care how dirty I have to eat, I'm gonna gain some serious size. So, see you guys next time.